welcome to today's vlog. Um, as you saw in my little daily planner, it's June 24th. Um, it's a pretty dreary day outside, which I'm kind of excited for because it's been really warm lately and I want to like, I want to make warm foods, you know, like soup and buns and cinnamon rolls and stuff like that. So hopefully today we can do a little bit of that in this rainy weather. Um, but yeah, today is going to be a pretty chill vlog. I have a bunch of different things to do. Um, but we'll see what we get to today. So as you already saw, here is my plan for today and I haven't finished filling it out yet because I'm kind of new to using um, a digital planner on a daily basis, but I've got a few things in there already. So you can see there's a spot for the date and then for my morning routine, um, which I already completed. I did my devotions um, and my face stuff um, and the the white jade gua sha that I used on my face um, that's from La Coes. I actually have been working with them. So if you're interested in getting one of those for free when you purchase one of their face oils, I'll have a link for that in the description. So I got through my morning routine and then I've got a bunch of tasks that I want to do today. I'll hopefully get to as many as possible. Whoa. All right. So I, I've got some bread. It's just rising right now. And then the rest of this is all stuff that I need to do later in the day. And other than that, I haven't really filled it out other than putting a little a little verse in here that I really love. So I'm gonna show you the sort of blank version of this. So this is something that I just recently added into my shop. It's just a daily planner like this and I myself have started using it and I actually really, really love it. So over on this side, like you saw, date, morning routine, tasks. This box is just empty. Um, if you wanna put a Bible verse like I did or a positive affirmation or maybe like your top priority for the day, I wanted to leave that very general. Then we've got a spot for notes and then your evening routine. Then over on the other page, at the top, there's a spot for habits and some gratitude. And then other than that, it's just like an hour by hour um, daily planner. So for people who do like to do that kind of thing, you can do it all here. I personally don't do tons of that, but I do actually have, um, I have a meeting, so I'll mark that in at the time that it's supposed to be. But other than that, I'll probably mostly use um, this side. But if you're interested in checking out this daily planner or a few other ones that I've recently launched, I'll have my Etsy shop linked in the description as well. Alright, so I filled in a little bit more of my planner here, added in some of my habits and gratitude and stuff. So I just finished posting on Instagram. That took me way longer than it should have. Um, because I wanted to post a reel of this little daily planner, but I realized, oh, it's not actually in my Etsy shop yet. So I posted it in my Etsy shop, filmed a reel, and posted the reel. And I also just finished making bread. And now I'm about to go for a walk. And after that, I'll probably get started on a custom bullet journal. And these things are definitely going to wait for the evening. So it's quite a few hours later. It turned out to be a much busier day than I thought it would be. But anyways, this is the state of my desk right now. So you can tell I've got like a bunch of bullet journals and digital journals that I've been working on all day. And so it's kind of a mess. So I want to tidy this up, but I also want to show you um, some of my favorite parts of each journal because I actually just filmed three flip throughs. I flipped through both of these two journals. That's the one that I started working on this afternoon. And then I also flipped through a digital academic planner on there. So I'm going to show you guys some of the highlights from all of those journals that I just filmed. All right, so starting with the digital academic planner, because it's the one that I'm most excited for. This is sort of like the yearly title page. And then there's like a spot for all of your due dates. And you can like use this key to color code each different class that you're in. Um, so yeah for the full year from August all the way until the next July. So these little tabs here get you to the monthly pages and then these ones are kind of like bonus pages that you can duplicate and use wherever you want them in the journal. 
So anyways, I'll show you my two favorite months. Um, they're actually the last two months in the journal. So I'm going to hop there. Sorry, good notes takes a little while to process when I make such big jumps. Okay, so this is one of my favorite months here, this little purple snail for the month of June. And then, so yeah, each month has that title page, a brain dump, a calendar, and then you choose what other spreads you want within the month by duplicating the different weekly um, pages and bonus pages. So anyways, this is June. And my other favorite month is July, this little bumblebee. I love yellow, so I'm not surprised that I like this theme. But again, title page, brain dump, calendar, and then you can paste in all of these bonus pages. There's a bunch of different weekly options that you can paste in. And then there's also um, other options that you can duplicate in GoodNotes or whatever app you're using, like a schedule or a daily, um, daily routine page instead of a weekly page. So anyways, there's all those and then you can decorate them by using these stickers that come along with it. So there's a sticker for each month. So these are all the monthly themes, butterfly, leaves, cacti, planes, all those. And then these are just kind of bonus stickers that you can use with every month. So that was the digital planner that I flipped through for a video tonight. And this is one of the physical bullet journals that I did. So this is probably one of my favorite themes in here. Just a bunch of like abstract shapes and I used my new stamps from Paper World that I'll link below. And finally, the other journal that I flipped through tonight is this light gray one. And this little strawberry theme, sorry, I'm blocking my light. This little strawberry theme is my favorite theme in this journal. Almost all the themes in this journal are entirely pink. Um, but yeah, I like this one the best. So now that I got done with all of my filming and stuff for the day, it's really late. It's actually after 1 a.m. Um, so I might do a little bit more work in this bullet journal that I was working on before. But aside from that, that wraps up this studio vlog, so I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.